Hey everybody, welcome to the Keto Mom page. My name is Stephanie and I have a thought for you today. Actually, two thoughts. So as you're tuning in, where are you tuning in from? I'm sitting out on my back porch. It's a little sunny, it's beautiful. I'm tuning in from Minnesota. I should show you what I'm looking at, but we live right on a, we bought a home on an old rock quarry that's filled in so we have a 40 acre lake, but it's not like, it's 40 acres. It's beautiful. So I'm sitting outside, super light breeze, it's gorgeous. But I just got done doing my arm workout for today, but that's the conversation I wanted to have with you. Well, two thoughts. And so as I was talking to our daughter this morning, or maybe it was yesterday, I was saying, hey, I've been meaning to start this workout, I've been meaning to start this workout for the last at least five years. For at least five years, I have been saying things like, in January, I'll set a resolution and I'll say, I want to get bigger arms. I want to get stronger arms. I want to get stronger. And I'll say these things. And every, every year, the year goes by, I get to the end of the year and I look the same. I appear the same. My muscles haven't got any bigger. How many of you have set res resolutions or set goals at the beginning of the year and then realize as you go through the year and you go through each month, you're like, wait, I have the goal, I have the goal, but I haven't put the systems in place to hit those goals. So, uh, I have a friend, Lindsay, who's doing a fun little, we, we just have, I just have some great friends that are all on the pursuit of better, right? And so my friend Lindsay was like, I'm getting stronger arms, and I'm like, me too! And then I was like, wait, clearly what I've been doing over the last five years, like my husband and I have changed the way we've eaten. We started this Keto Mom page over seven years ago, we've shifted a lot of things that have worked and have helped us achieve lots of different goals. We feel better. I have incredible energy. I have focus to homeschool our kids. Like I feel stronger and yet I still am not where I want to be. And so I, we looked at all the things we've done and I'm like, okay, where I am today is the result of all the things I've done in the past and I feel great. And if I want to go somewhere else, if I want to do something different, I'm going to have to change a little bit. I'm going to have to tweak a little bit. So I do CrossFit. I eat clean. I drink my water. I drink ketones. I do all of these things. And if my goal is to have, I joke about it, but I say bigger biceps, right? If my goal is for these to grow, and if what I've been doing over the last five years has not grown them, it might seem like a joke, but I'm like, I want strong arms and I need to make a shift. So today I started something called Armageddon. We have a friend, his name is Steve Weatherford. He uh, just created a little arm workout. So I'm doing this 12 week program that has to do with bigger biceps. It might sound silly. Do any of you have any type of goals like that where you're like, I've been doing it for years and years and like haven't reached that goal? My husband would say, Stephanie says at the beginning of every year, I'm gonna be able to do an unassisted pull up and I'm not quite there. So I'm in CrossFit, I love CrossFit workouts, and I have implemented today, day one of Armageddon. And so I say all of that because my daughter said, why would you start on Saturday? On Mondays, it's, it's the first. Why don't you start at the first of every month? Why don't you start on Monday? That's a fun day, like you should start on a Monday, and it's the first, and I was like, oh, just because you said that, I'm going to start today. Why? Because I think oftentimes, how often do we run that little thing in our mind to go, I'm going to start Monday, I'm going to start on the 1st, I'll start next week, it's in the beginning of the week, I, I can't start now, I might as well start on Monday. Why? Because it's the 1st and it's a Monday? I said, just because you said that, I'm going to start today and I'm going to encourage other people to start whatever they want to go after today. Or maybe you're like, well, half my day is done. So what? Maybe half your day is done. And you're like, well, I might as well just throw in the towel and eat whatever I want or do whatever I want or not start today because I messed up the first part of the day. It doesn't mean you have to mess up the rest of the day. So we started today because it was a random Saturday and I've made excuses. I was supposed to start a week ago. We were traveling and I made the excuse we were traveling. I made the excuse that I had stuff going on. We had doctor's appointments. Like I didn't make it a priority, but how often do you push things off and not make it a priority before you decide to start? It doesn't matter what day it is. It doesn't matter if it's half the way through the day. Like you can still make one step forward towards your goal. So I went upstairs. I did the arm workout. It's going to be great. Day one, I've got 12 weeks of this program to get a specific goal that I'm wanting. 
I'm still eating low carb or carb conscious or keto. Like I eat more protein than somebody who is keto. So I would say I'm more low carb. I drink my ketones every day. I drink my water. I'm going to CrossFit, all of these things. And yet if I want a different result in a specific area, I've got to switch something up. So that's what I'm doing. I'm doing a 12 week Armageddon workout program. I'm about to watch. I'm going to walk you through the entire progress. I'll share it on my stories, but I just want to come on here and encourage you. What have you been saying over and over again that you want to hit? What are the goals? What are some of the things that you want? Because remember, a goal is a goal, but it's the systems that are put in place that will get you to where you want to go, right? So if you've read the book Atomic Habits, you know that in that book, he says you don't rise to the level of your goals. If I've had this goal for over five years, I have not automatically hit that goal just because I set the goal, right? You fall to the level of your systems. My systems were down here. In order for me to hit the goal of getting stronger or bigger biceps, I've got to create systems to get me there. And what I've been doing has not got me there automatically. I don't get to wish for it or hope for it or just pray that my biceps will grow or I'll have stronger arms. I've got to work for it. So I've done a lot of things right. And I had to make a shift and implement something different to get the results I want. What are you needing to shift, to start, to redo, to make focus? Like, what do you need to do to get to where you want to go? And are you that person that's going, I'm going to wait till Monday. I'm going to wait till next week. I'm going to wait till the first of the month. I'm going to wait till summer's done. I'm going to, I'm going to wait because then you're going to keep putting it off. So today I started because it was Saturday. And I just wanted to start it. I thought my husband was out here, but maybe he went inside because he did it with me. And then I had one more thought. Just an awareness is as you're focused on fat loss, most people are here for fat loss. I feel like I'm squinting at you. I should have grabbed some sunglasses. I'm so sorry. Um, how are you? Does this make sense? Does anybody else relate? Can anybody else relate on anything that I've said? In my mind, I'm like, ah, oh, this is so good. I'm not going to wait till the first. I'm going to start now. Because yesterday I told my friends we were out on a lake uh, we were on a massive lake with our friends. It was like a date night with other adults. It was fun. Some of our friends. Anyways, and I said, yep, I'm going to start on Monday. I'm going to start on Monday. And I'm like, I can't do that. I'm going to start today. So I hope you're having it. If you're watching live, if you're watching live, it's Saturday afternoon. If you're watching replay, it doesn't matter what day it is, but I hope you're having a great day. We have just a chill Saturday on purpose because we've been traveling and another awareness is this. If, if there's one thing, here's a little keto tip. So my husband said yesterday, he grabbed a can of something to drink. And he said, you know, it's so, so interesting, Stephanie. He says so many, uh, he just grabbed something out of the cooler. We weren't at our home. We were somewhere else. And he said, you know, people easily can grab things to drink. If somebody's on a fat loss weight loss, trying to get healthier journey, how easy is it to slip? How easy is it to not pay attention to the things that you're drinking, right? So he said he went to pick up this can out of the cooler. He's like, oh, that looks good. And normally I drink water, sparkling water and ketones. That's it. So he went to pick up this water, or this sparkling, watery, fizzy drink, and he flipped it over and it was a smaller can. And he was like, oh my goodness. He said, I forgot I had the awareness of how many people drink a ridiculous amount of sugar. And so here's two tips for you. Number one, the tip is to flip. Before you drink or eat something that's already packaged, right? It's different if you pick up a piece of broccoli or something else that's not packaged with a label. Anything that has a label, the tip is to flip. So he's like, I picked up this can and he's like, there was like, I feel like I'm saying like a lot, sorry. There was probably in this small can over 20 grams of sugar. It was, it was over 20. I don't remember the exact, I don't remember the exact drink. It was like a sparkling fizzy drink. It wasn't like a sparkling water. It had something else to it. And, he, and my husband was like, I forgot how easily we grab things to drink. And then all of a sudden it's one and then two and you're on the boat and it's three and it's four and it's all day. You might go through the drive through. My kids wanted like, can we get a, a fancy coffee drink this morning? We were downtown at the farmer's market. Anybody else go to the farmer's market? We love it. And so sometimes I let them get a little treat, but I said, girls, you do realize you're not getting like a fancy coffee. You're legitimately ordering a fancy sugary drink with like this much coffee in it, which they share. But there is an awareness of people don't, they just don't have the awareness of how much sugar and how many things they're drinking. 
something that has no nutritional value whatsoever. So the tip is, if something has a label, the tip is to flip. These little drinks were easily, could have easily been cracked open. And he's like, I could have easily drank it on the boat all afternoon, three, four, five of those, which would have been at least 100 grams of sugar. It's just an awareness, right? If you're on a health journey, the tip is to flip. What are you drinking? So my next question to you is, what are you drinking? Be aware of how much sugar that you are maybe subconsciously grabbing, not being aware of. It might seem like a healthy drink. And then you flip it over and you're like, I just drank 46 grams of sugar. Right? If you feel like you're not reaching your goals and you're eating all of the right things, but you haven't paid attention to the drinks, that is my tip today. The tip is to flip. And second is to be aware of what's in your cup, in your can, what's in your bottle. Super important because that makes a huge difference in your fat loss journey. What is in your shaker bottle? What's in your can? What's in your cup? What's it? What are you drinking? So I drink water. If you drink coffee or tea, make sure you're paying attention to the amount of sugar you're putting in it. Uh, I drink ketones. If you've never tried ketones, they're unbelievable. I've been drinking them for over seven years. It's a packet. You put it in water. It's sweetened with stevia or erythritol. You can't even taste the, the sweetener, but it tastes incredible. It puts you in ketosis in under an hour. It's a tool. So I've been drinking ketones for a long time. If you've never heard me talk about them, if you've never tried them, just post trial in the comments and we'll chat. Like, I'll tell you what they are, how they work different ways you can trial the product. So I drink water, ketones, sometimes sparkling water. I'm not a coffee drinker, but pay attention to the coffee or like the sugar you're putting in your coffee. What are you drinking? Or when you go grab a healthier drink, whether it's at the gas station or at the grocery store or anywhere, flip that baby over and look at the amount of sugar that's in it. Do not be deceived by what it may say on the outside of your can. That's all I have to say, or the bottle, right? Super important. So I actually cannot see anything you're saying, but thank you for, I hope you're adding value if this makes sense, or if there's a tip that helps you to stay on focus or to stay on track. Anything that I've sent, if it or said, anything that resonates with you, it's so bright out here. I should have thought about this before I came out here, but it's loud inside, it's bright out here. It's beautiful outside, and I hope you're having a great day. So I wanted to come on here and encourage you don't let your constant, I'll start tomorrow, I'll start tomorrow, I'll start at the beginning of the week, I'll start, start today, make a better choice today, have an awareness that I'm going to do it today. If I messed up today, then it doesn't wreck the rest of my day. I don't have to wait till next week or the beginning of the fall or next year. I can start today by making one better choice today. So, I've got specific goals. I have made a different shift. I'm still doing CrossFit. I'm going to do an extra workout for 12 weeks. I'm going to track it so we will see how big and strong my arms get. And the tip is to flip. So flip those drinks over. Be aware of what you're drinking. And then know I'm always here to help. You can send me a message. Uh, whatever the question is, you can comment in any videos. We'll message you back. I just can't read them currently. Thank you for popping in. Thank you, thank you for adding value. It's not just about me and my family, but your value or your, um, your presence matters. And the things that have helped you on this journey, if you're like, listen, I've been here for years or a couple months. This has helped me on my keto journey. Share your tips below. I would love for you to share your tips below because other people will scroll through. They'll read your tip. You will change their life. They will implement it. And then you have added value to other people's lives. So thank you for tuning in. Post trial in the comments if you want to know more about my mom fuel or ketones in general. And we are going to go for a walk or maybe a bike ride. We're going to go take our dogs for a walk. We're going to enjoy this amazing day. Get out. Get some sun. Breathe in the fresh air. Know that you are worthy. You are worth it. I'm here to help. I hope you have a great afternoon and we'll talk to you soon.